Hello, everybody, and we're live for this week's episode of Between the Lines from the basement of Hogan in the football offices. I'm Harrison Malone. We got Zach Russo on my left, Sam Slem on the right. A couple things to talk about now for Crossfire. Star track and field. Caitlin Ard won runner of the week last week in a great performance at the GBSU Open and then continued her performance again yesterday at Defiance College <clears throat> where she competed in the distance medley with three other runners and won by almost 50 seconds over second place and then also won the one mile run on her own. Along with that, Aaron Goggins won the pole vault again, uh, Hannah Garn won the 5,000 meter run and Chelsea Vance Bronson won the 3,000 meter run. And on the men's side, Justin Larkins won pole vault. Zach, what do you think? Trevor Grenat of the men's basketball team was awarded the MIAA Men's Basketball Player of the Week Award for his performances in last week's games, averaging 28 and a half points in two contests. He followed that up with a 28 point performance at Olivet on Wednesday. Spring sports have begun practicing this past week. A little recap on how they all did last season. The baseball team finished uh, last season 28 and 15 overall with an 18 and 10 record in conference play and advanced to the conference championship game where they eventually fell. The softball team was 33 and 10 with a 14 and 2 conference record. They did eventually win the conference championship game and advanced to the NCAA regionals. Men's lacrosse was 13 and 5 overall with a 6 and 1 conference record and lost in the conference championship game. And the women's lacrosse team was 6 and 8 with a 3 and 5 conference record. And that's it for Crossfire. We'll take a brief break and we will see Zach Bosley for a word with. What's going to be the biggest challenge facing this team? Kyle Kansman. Kelsey Wolfers. Caitlin Arnold. Tyra Pageant. Strike game. My number is 13. 39. 22. 32. He tends to focus on fundamentals and executing them at the best possible time. with Zach Bosley. Little prelude for Zach. He's one of our cameramen and he is the first to be a part of an episode where we get to meet a crew member. How you doing, Zach? Pretty good. How about you? I'm doing all right. So we're going to start with a word with. I'm going to give you some questions and you get one word or one phrase to answer them. All right. So first question, what kind of coffee do you normally drink? Just black. Just black coffee. What's your favorite sport to watch? go wrestling and football at the time like i can't really it's a good thing you're a wrestling correspondent then <laughs> uh, next what's your favorite dinosaur if you had to pick one i'm gonna go t-rex t-rex okay if you're on a deserted island you get one musical artist to listen to for the rest of your days who is it bob seger Your last one. <clears throat> if you go to the zoo, what's the first exhibit you see? First one you go to. Uh, I can't think of the exact name of it, but with the snakes and the spiders and whatnot. And reptile? The reptile house, yeah. They usually have like the scorpions and spiders in there, too. I, yeah. I don't know. I just like seeing all the reptiles and the arachnids. All and right, whatnot. so that has been a word with Zach Bosley. Now, we're going to get into some real talk. We're actually going to get into some details about Zach. So, first question, what is it that you would like to do in your free time most of the time, Zach? Most of my free time is spent uh, writing. I want to I want to be a screenwriter when I get out of college, so that's the vast majority of the time when I'm not in class or working for one of the clubs, I'm writing a script. Sometimes I play some video games, too. So, so what kind of topics do you write about for your script? What, what kind of genre for movies? Uh, I definitely focus more on drama. I, I enjoy just kind of exploring characters is the main thing I like to do. I have a slight focus on like crime, but the main thing is I like tension and just kind of, you know, overall suspense and stuff like that. That's my, my main one. 
So is there someone in the movie industry that you admire most? You know, a writer, a producer, a director? Um, probably Quentin Tarantino. Just I've never really seen another another director or another writer who can really just tell a story as well as he does and keep it so entertaining the entire time. The Coen brothers are pretty enjoyable as well just because there's the surreal quality to all of their films that I just can never not enjoy. All right, so I'm going to move away from your aspirations now for just a second. Um, did you play any sports in high school? If so, what were they? Um, yes, I did two years of football, four years of golf, a year of cross country, but the main one I did, spent the most time doing was wrestling. That was a sport I did for the longest. What kind of successes did you find in wrestling? Any at all? Um, I mean, I... I wasn't a state champ or anything, but I did receive the most improved wrestler award one year, and I that was pretty cool just because it was voted on by the team, and I really felt like I was getting better as an athlete, and I really had a lot of just respect for all the people who gave me the award, which made it even all the more special. It was really awesome for me. All right, well, thank you for sitting down with us. We can get to know you. Uh, we're going to take another quick break, and we will see the how-to segment with Zach Bosley. What's going to be the biggest challenge facing this team? Kyle Kansman. Kelsey Wolfers. Caitlin Arnold. Tara Pageant. Trey Game. My number is 13. 39. 22. He tends to focus on fundamentals and executing them at the best possible time. One. Hello, and welcome to How To with Zach Bosley. I don't actually know what I'll be explaining to you yet, but someone's about to tell me. Is there something you'd like to teach us, Zach? Anything at all? S something that we might not know? Um, how to format a movie script? How to for uh, actually, yeah, I can't teach you that. All right, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so the main, first of all, the, one of the things you got to know is that there's actually like a specific font you have to use when you're making a script. It's called Courier. I, it's just basically looks like an old typewriter. Like that is exactly what it looks like. It's, it's just like you know that old just. It, it, like, like all the letters look like you know, like that basically. And for whatever reason, that is the exact way you have to, the exact format they want you to use, and it's all got to be twelve point font, the whole nine yards. That came out. <laughs> and it's different. And another thing you got to remember is that every single time, like when you, you when you do dialogue, you have to bold face every character's name like um so when someone's speaking when someone is speaking that is in bold not the words they say just the character's name itself is in bold and everything under and everything that they're actually saying you have to center it um whenever you want to describe a new scene whether if it's outside if it's outside you, have, you say fade to exterior this is the abbreviation for exterior and then there's interior which is basically just are you outside or are you inside you say fade to that and then you just kind of go into the explanation of where you're at like if it's a bar you could say it's dingy and it's a honky tonk bar people are sitting around the booth just kind of Give an explanation of what it's supposed to look like. That's more or less what you have to do when you're describing a setting. Um, one thing to know when you're writing a script, don't give away the twist before you give away the twist. I learned that from M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys about this. Uh, Sorry. Um, this is less about the format and more about a script in general. 
but when you're trying, when you're like writing a character, some, something that can be really helpful is just to kind of picture a specific actor saying those lines. It makes everything sound much more natural when you're actually picturing someone saying it. It's not always easy to write like human beings talk, but that's the way you have to do it. It's, it has to sound like people sound, but at the same time, you're kind of cutting out all of the bull to try and get to the point. It's a weird balance you have to strike, but it's extremely important, and a lot of people just don't know how to do it. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's about, that's about it. That's the world's shortest lesson on how to write a script, basically. All right, so thanks for coming out in front of the camera this time, Zach. Oh, no, thanks for putting so much pressure on me. I'm really I'm happy about it. All right, so this is Zach Fosley. I'm Harrison Lone. Thanks for watching our first live edition of Between the Lines.